Here we are at the front of the lot. As you notice, the old concrete post and fencing is still there, but behind that, you'll see the round poles filled with concrete and rebar um, already being erected and drying. Now, you have to excuse the video. This was not from my camera, um, but it, you could still see, you know, the progress that we've done with the fencing. Um, soon you'll see a column, and that's where one of the one side of where we're gonna fix and stretch the barbed wire across. That connects to the um, corner lot on the right side of the property. And here you see the front uh, alongside of the road and they are still continuing to uh, put down more round post. Across the street you'll see that we've also put down fencing and that's from the 510 square meters that I was able to recover from next door after the new land resurvey. Here you'll see the corner post on the left side of the property and when you look down uh, this is going to show you um, where the barbed wire will be stretched that's one corner post all the way down there to where we recovered more property and all alongside and to the back Now as we turn around, you are looking now um, on the left side of the property, you will be looking towards the street and as you notice more round poles um, have been erected, uh, they're I think 9 meters apart. and. What I like about this um, method is that we didn't have to form the concrete post and then wait five days for them to dry, remove the form, and then be able to stick them in the ground. So by using PVC pipe uh, filled with concrete and stone and sand and rebar, we're able to plant it, put a foundation on it, and leave it so that it can dry in its place and the nice thing too is that the plastic that surrounds the concrete uh, kind of protects it from being cracked and so on uh, by the weather by the elements etc um, here we are still looking at the front of the property alongside the road Originally the fence was put in as you can see the original fence that was started is put right up against the roadway Which uh, the new fence I built another two meters back just in case they do road widening I don't have to pull a whole entire fence line back so that they can widen the road Here you see again the 510 square meters across the road that we recovered and we are already clearing that lot, putting some barbed wire fencing uh, so that the owner will know that this is our lot and not theirs. We are planning to put mahogany trees here along with a few um, coconut trees but mostly mahogany. Coming up on the next uh, picture, you will see where they put the actual marker 
it's a concrete marker. I had put um, another post there to mark where it is because in the Philippines these concrete markers tend to walk and what I mean by walk is people take them out and they just throw them out and they pretend that they don't know where the line is and they don't know where the property markers are so in case my neighbor decides to change caretakers they absolutely know that this portion this small piece is not theirs so I made sure that the the property that we recovered was fenced 510 square meters might not sound big here in the US but in the Philippines, it's enough to put a little piece of, uh, it's enough of a property, sorry, to put a nice small house with a nice garden. Father is unstoppable, man. 64. Uh, I'll do any 20 year old working. Hard as a rock. Check out all the piles he's made here. Some of them they've already burned. Some of the other stuff is still fresh, but that helps to dry them. This is going to be turned into charcoal. They're going to keep burning this till there's nothing left but ash. So all these burn piles here, these will be all burned out. We got RJ and Lauren's picking up the, um, the uh, coconuts that are being put together by Rex. So everybody's doing their thing. Looks like Rex set another fire up there on a bunch of fathers busy making more piles. Boys are picking up coconuts and carrying them over to the cliff. Damage that these cows that are let loose on the property. Look at the damage they've done to this nice, it would have been a nice coconut, but you know, they've eaten it. So, just some of the things that really aggravate me. Some of the things that you'll see, look how big some of the, the wooded stuff that we had cut down. You know, they're fairly large. Tree, shrubs. You know, so you have to be you know, an idea of how big they are. Putting my foot on there. So they're fairly huge. But nice trees that more piles. These guys are really piling it up. Sorry for the pun. This area was just full of trees. Couldn't even get back here. Couldn't even see the back. You know, we're gonna leave that because that's the cliff. And we, I don't want that part of the cliff to erode. So we're going to leave that. These are some of the trees that they took down with just the bolo. You know? We hadn't gotten the stupid um, chainsaw to work at that time. So they couldn't wait, so they hit it with a bolo. Here, some of these trees back here... They did cut with a chainsaw because they were too big. You see, these are fairly good sized trees. Let's go see where the boys are going. Looks like they're ready to dump. Gotta be so careful here. 
I think if we have one more day where we have sunlight, most of this stuff will burn in a couple of days. So let's see where these guys are going. Over the cliff. Lawrence, did I get any father ng ano? Para tumubo? Oh, good. Very good. This is the cliff. But they're dumping the stuff here. Might as well use it. I mean... The property is getting eroded so much by the river, so we might as well toss it in here. Hopefully I don't go in there. Yeah, the river looks good today, nice and clean. I can't believe you can actually see all the coconuts that they planted in rows. I don't know how they did it because you couldn't even, you couldn't even see but let alone go get through here. Uh, you see all the coconuts they had planted. Some of these, like I said, the one that doesn't have a, the one that doesn't have a, uh, a stake means that those coconuts are just the ones that fell. And you can tell the difference because this one, not only does it have a stake, but it's also been buried in the ground. Whereas these other ones that just have fallen and because of the neglect and nobody's ever cleaned up here and picked them up, they just grow. They just grow right on top of the ground. So these are the ones that will grow and you'll see the root ball as they get bigger and bigger. You'll see the root ball up in the air. You know, it's not, it's not going to be in the ground. So they're weak. Something like this. You know, or uh, there's another one here that literally is just a, looks like a looks like a fish hook that just went on the ground. Look at look at father, unbelievable. Sixty four and carrying that stuff like he's a twenty year old man. That's the honey badger. He is very strong. I wouldn't want to tangle with father. Funny story, my dad and I were talking last night and as we're clearing, he asked me a question. He said, did you see any monkeys? You know, was there any monkeys there? Because my dad grew up in the forest, basically. You know, at the time of the Japanese occupation, he told me they would run to the forest to the, and live there when the Japanese would roll into town because they would, they would just kill anyone, especially males. So they would run and they literally lived here in the, in, in the, what they call bundok or jungle. So he asked me, were there any monkeys here? And I'm like, yeah, there are monkeys here, but not, they're not hanging around the trees. The monkeys are hanging around trying to check out what we're doing because they had failed miserably in the last eight or nine years to take care of this property. So, now you see the difference when you get a group of guys who want to do well for you. You treat them well. You, you give them what they need. You give them respect for the hard work and you thank them.
with little things, whether it's a pack of cigarettes, you know, extra, um, extra something in the meal or soda or bread that they like or boiled bananas that they want. You know, it's the little things that make them, you know, appreciate it because not a lot of people here that they work for, they don't treat them that way. They treat them like laborers um, and that's it. You know, you're on your own, feed yourself basically. And that's not, that's not how I want to be treated. That's not how I treat the people that are trying to help me develop this property. Um, you know, I guess it's just a personal thing. Oh, there's Junior, the matinee idol. And a June. Packing, pack up time. Ready to go? Huh? Or bite pa? <laughs> May shooting kayata mamaya. Commercial. June makes everything fun here. Makes everybody laugh. Um, yeah, it's looking good. Jungle bowling. <laughs> 